Hey, hola, my friends. I'd like to welcome you to our meditation garden again, and I have got such an awesome update for you guys over there at the aquaponics rig. First and foremost, how's everybody doing? Everybody doing okay? Yeah? Okay. We're doing all right over here as well. Uh, we had a surprise rainstorm earlier today, and I absolutely loved it. It just messes me up during the day because um, it ends up putting me to sleep. I end up taking a nap, but I'm going to tell you, the age 50, naps are good, my friends. <laughs> If you remember the other day we were cleaning our um, Leica beads or the clay balls, but I was working. I got to tell you guys, I'm telling you, I got to tell you, I got to tell you, I got to tell you. I was working with my um, my um, co-researcher, well, the man who's actually heading up, that's a co-researcher. He's actually heading up the research team that I'm a part of, and his name is James. And um, he was blown away by the rig here, but I'm telling you guys, with this, with him, he's taking this to the next level. And let's just jump ahead. Now, obviously, I'm not obviously, but in the future, we plan on um, building copies of this rig all around impoverished parts of the world because it it just makes sense, right? It just makes sense. You guys can go through the past videos and you can see, you can look at the pluses to it, but. The one thing that we wanted to do is we, can, we want to constantly improve the system. Now, some of you may know, but for those who don't, the entire um, aquaponics and hydroponics systems are um, solar powered, which is awesome. But being that it's solar powered means that the devices, the equipment does use power. Now, for instance, okay, this air pump down there is 100 watts, okay, and that runs 24 hours a day. 100 times 24, that's 2.4 kilowatts a day. Now that's power that I wish I could save and use for something else. Wouldn't that be awesome if we could? As well as powering the air pump, we also take about, I think it's like 30 feet of line air hose going from the um, aquarium to that air pump. Now we have it in this white sleeve because it keeps the heat off, but still the heat, the air traveling through those pipes, and it's like, let me leave this some um, quarter inch. Yep, the quarter inch hoses it does get hot and it adds to the temperature of the water. Now wait, what if there's a way we could keep the water cooler, all right, while maintaining a level of oxygen for the fish and for the plants, but what if we could increase the level of oxygen while saving more power? Well guys, ta-da-da, -da, that's where this theory comes in. It's nano bubble technology. Now, you can Google it, I would recommend highly Googling it, um, YouTubing it, looking to it, but I'm gonna keep it real simple for you. You know how you have a garden hose, right? And you're spraying water out the garden hose, but if you block part of it, it adds pressure, and that water comes spraying out even harder. Well, I want you to think of this method, can you hear that? Of giving oxygen, providing oxygen to the fish and to the plant. Picture a normal size bubble is like, oh, this big. And that normal size bubble, oxygen bubble, a regular size one, let's see, um, you got probably um, about 5% gas transfer in that um, bubble. So that's not a lot of oxygen, is it? Well, in nanotechnology, in nanobubbles, remember that big bubble? 850 nanobubbles can fit in that big bubble. And those nanobubbles retain 85% of the gas that's passing through them. That's 85% more oxygen. The outcome being no visible bubbles bubbling all over the place, making a mess, disturbing the water, a much cleaner aquarium, and much happier fish. Look at my babies. Yes, you can see all the way down to the bottom. And that's because we're applying the nano, we're applying, we're applying the oxygen um, through the um, nano um, oxygen uh, molecules. This is so fantastic, guys. It is, it is, it is, it is, it is. I can't tell you how happy I am. You couldn't scrub this smile off of my face. I'm telling you, we're doing major things out here. Before I let you go, I want to remind you guys, I think it was like four days ago or so, I posted a video of the garden. Look at this thing today. Look at the cucumbers. Please go back to the video from two days ago and take a look at this. I'm going to show you how we get this done. Yeah, we got cukes all over the place, baby. And this is actually our third run of cucumbers this season. Remember the watermelons? Take a look at this, guys. Melons on and popping. Look at the vines. Look at that. Look at the other vine over here. Good googly moogie. This is what I'm talking about, y'all. I love gardening. I love sharing this information. You guys have any questions, please don't hesitate to hit me up. Like I said, um, if you get a chance, Google um, nanobubbles. I'm telling you, it's insane, but the way it works, the, the whole science behind it, we can make this world a better place, guys, if we try. And I know it sounds like an old corny song or old corny proverb, but I'm serious. We can. 
plant that first seed, and together we'll grow. Peace and blessings, my friends. Let's garden on.